Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Diego, me voy a ir pronto. Tengo que irme a mi casa. Porque mañana vamos a ir a Los Cabos. Mi familia y yo iremos a visitar a mis primos. ¿Me voy a ir? ¿Irme a mi casa? Vamos a... Iremos a... Hello there, my beautiful, beautiful friends from SpongeBob101.com. As you might know, my name is Diego. And I'm Efraín. And today we're going to check the topic ir versus irse. Uh -huh. Why should we use each verb? Yeah. Okay? So, if you are interested, guys, enjoy this video. Woo! Okay, guys, so in Spanish we have the reflexive verbs, and a reflexive verb could be seen generally as a verb that you do to yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can translate it like that, yourself, myself, himself, herself, etc. Yeah. And we can divide these verbs into categories, the ones that are easily translatable and the ones that change completely the meaning. Okay. One of these examples of the easily translatable verbs is levantar and levantarse. Mm -hmm. So, levantar is... Um, to lift and levantarse on the other hand is like to lift yourself or in other words to get up okay okay mm -hmm. good um, but we also have in other category some verbs that change completely the meaning when they turn into a reflexive form mm -hmm. such as the verb acordar and acordarse okay so acordar could be translated as to settle Uh -huh. uh, or to agree on something and acordarse, acordarse on the other hand is to remember. Okay, another example of this is ir and irse. Ir, of course, means to go, but irse changes, changes its meaning. Irse could be roughly translated to um, to go away or to leave. Yeah, that's correct, exactly. Now, let's check, first of all, how to conjugate the verb ir and mm -hmm. its uses. So, the verb ir, as the friend said, means to go. Yeah. And it requires a destination. Mm -hmm. It requires the preposition a plus a destination. For example, you can say voy al parque. Mm -hmm. Voy al parque. So, what, why am I saying al? Well, ah. because you need the preposition a plus el parque. Okay, mm -hmm. but remember that in Spanish we have the contracted articles. So we would say voy al parque. Mm -hmm. Or in the feminine, voy a la iglesia. For example, yeah. voy a la iglesia. Or we also have the plurals. As in the example that Efraín said, voy a los cabos. Uh -huh. Voy a los cabos. Yeah. And also feminine plural. For example, voy a las montañas. Voy a las montañas. Yeah. Or you can use the verb ir to talk about the future. Mm -hmm. And you will use this structure. Um, ir conjugated plus a plus the verb in its infinitive form. Mm. For example, voy a comer pizza mañana. Okay, guys. Now, let's see the verb irse. Irse is a reflexive verb because mm -hmm. you know you know this because the verb ends in se. All the verbs that end in se are reflexive and they need a reflexive pronoun. Irse is uh, roughly translated as to leave or to go away. Yeah. Okay. And remember the reflexive pronouns. Me, te, se, nos, se. Mm -hmm. Okay. Therefore, the conjugation would be me voy. Te vas, él, ella, usted se va, uh, nosotros nos vamos, ellos, ellas, ustedes se van. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now let's look at some examples of this. Now, the verb irse, the verb irse focus on the action of leaving a place. Remember that ir is talking about destination. It it's focused on on where to go, whereas ir says where you are leaving from, where you are leaving from. Okay, so let's see here two examples. So the first one, the first one is 
Efraín, es un poco tarde, eh, pues yo creo que ya, ya me voy, ya me voy. Ok, so that's the first example. Another example is, oh, ya son las tres, eh, pues, pues me voy a mis clases. Ok, so in this case, me voy a mis clases is emphasizing the fact that I'm going to leave to go to my lessons. Ok, and just the, the, in the previous example, when I say es tarde, ya me voy, You're just saying, okay, I, I will leave. Okay, I'm leaving. So, for example, this verb is basically emphasizing the fact that you are leaving. Mm -hmm. Whereas ir is rather for emphasizing the fact that you are going to a place. So, remember, ir is attached to a destination and you're emphasizing the destination. Whereas irse is emphasizing where you are leaving. Mm -hmm. Okay, from where you are leaving. So, for example, you can say, mm, es tarde, ya me voy. Or even, ah, ya son las tres, ah, me voy a mis clases. Okay. In this case, you're saying, me voy a mis clases. Uh -huh. That means, I'm leaving to my lessons. Okay, so I need to go from here, because I need to go to my lessons. And in the, in the previous example, I'm saying, it is late, es tarde, ya me voy. Yeah. I'm leaving, or I need to leave, basically. Finally, let's focus on the sentence that Efraín mm -hmm. said in the skit. Me voy a ir pronto. Okay. Me voy a ir pronto. So here, the question might be, are we combining uh, irse and ir? How does that function? Because me voy a ir pronto, so me voy is to leave, and ir is to go. So am I saying, I am leaving to go soon? Well, no, that doesn't make any any sense at all. Um, so basically, here what is happening is that actually we're using the future form voy uh -huh. a with the reflexive irse, that is me voy. Okay. Since here you are combining the verb irse mm -hmm. plus the future voy a. What you can do is you can place the reflexive pronoun either before the conjugated verb or after the infinitive, and you attach attach the pronoun to the to the infinitive. Okay. Therefore, you can say me voy a ir pronto or mm -hmm. voy a irme pronto. Cool. Okay, and it makes much more sense. So I'm going to leave soon. Yeah, that's what you are saying. Ah, another example of this is the verb to eat. Mm -hmm. Comer. Comer, of course, means to eat. But when you when you want to use it in its reflexive form, it means to eat up. That's Comerse. Right. Mm -hmm. Comerse. To eat up. So, let's imagine that you are craving some tacos. Mm -hmm. So, you, you could say, me voy a comer unos tacos. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me voy a comer unos tacos. So, in this case, he's doing basically the same as me voy a ir pronto. Yeah. So, the reflexive verb is comerse and mm -hmm. you attach it to the future. Voy a. Uh -huh. That's why he's saying me voy a comer unos tacos. Or, yeah. in other words, he could have also said voy a comerme unos tacos. Yeah. Oye, Fra, vamos, vamos a comernos unos tacos, ¿no? Sí, vamos. Aleluya. That's it for today, my beautiful family of SpanishBoot101.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give us your thumbs up, share it with other learners, write your comments down there, click on the notifications, and subscribe to this channel so you can see us more often. Exactly. Or in our <laughs> newest releases. Yeah. <laughs> so, see you in our next video. Hasta luego. See you guys. Yeah, yeah.